Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Man, you talking about being blessed, man. See, sometimes you don't know what's gonna happen, man, and God just give it to you, man. You don't even know. But I pray a lot, though, mm -hmm. man. Hey, man, I've been looking for this guy, man, because really, uh, hey, I'm I, I'm watching my cameras and taking pointers today. This has been a class in session for me today, man. <laughs> Check it, man. Sean Cotton's in the building, man. <laughs> Yo, what up, man? How you doing, man? It's a pleasure. Man, I've been worried about if you was even thought we was doing a good job. Doing the yeah, baby. Nah. <laughs> nah, I've seen a, I've seen a few episodes. I'm Love a it. fan, man, of yours. Man, I appreciate bro. it. I'm a fan too. Man, I I'm telling you, ever since I, you know, I brought uh what's his name? The uh Jeff mm -hmm. Pullum. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, man, I was fascinated that he had interviewed you. Yeah. I was like, man, how the heck you end up interviewing him? Then he gave me D's number. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, man, I don't know how I'm going to get to Sean, man. Yeah. And I know I was going to run up on you one day, yeah, though, because I'm a hustler, you know <laughs> what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. So I don't really go nowhere. You know that I've been in the city, been here all these, you yeah. never hear from I me. I see all them pictures. Yeah, so yeah, I, I can know, run up on I you. you I, I promise <laughs> you I can run up on you. I got to speak on the big elephant in the room for me. Uh, Mo3. Smart yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 Mo3. Yelling all the stuff that happened with Trap Boy and all that. Every time I would hear about that, I would hear Sean Cotton is the okay. one that was in the middle of that. Um, no, it was because I was the I came up with all three of them. So okay, you got to understand. I, yeah, and I remember that. Yeah, I, I remember I, you the only one that interviewed them. Yeah, that I really can so think of. I would interview somebody, and then they'd be like, "No, that's not true. Let me get an interview. Let me tell my piece." And that's how I came really came about. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. we all human, brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> we all human, man. Yeah. So, so I know when you ahead. started out, you started out by doing um, rappers. Um, yeah, I used to do like freestyles. Freestyles. Like on the, on the yeah, street. yeah, I seen that. that. That was back when bars and rapping, rapidy rap used to matter. But over time, rap became more melodic, like singing. Mm -hmm. So people didn't care if you could rap good. They still don't. So I went from doing freestyles on like I used to pull up to Oak Cliff and Pleasant Grove. And I know. Yeah, like yeah. all the Chicago and used to do freestyles, but it just became like obsolete. Like nobody really checks on freestyles no more. They want to hear your story. And then you got a, a, a lot of people that's that's wanting to be on Say Cheese. This mm -hmm. is their biggest dream. I heard that's what one artist told me. <clears throat> just this weekend, he was like, "All I got to do to blow up if I can get on say cheese." Yeah, I yeah, yeah. See, feel it's that. up. A, a lot of a lot of the, the negative things you hear about me, you never hear that I owe somebody money, or you'll never, never hear heard that, uh -uh. or you'll never hear that I, I my artists are in bad situations. You, it's just the people who want to work with me. Those are the people who find negative things to say about me. But I mean. You'll hear things about the Mo Three and Trap Boy stuff, which I understand because I interviewed them all at around the same time. I had to ask that because that's the thing no, that everybody's yeah. going to want to know. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. I don't feel no type of way. But if you ask them three artists the same thing you ask me, and they're gonna be like, "No, nah, like Sean, he really tried." Like, came up with, or he's just an nah, idea. I did a few. It. I did a few viral interviews, and I was like, "Wow, okay, this shit could really go." Like this girl, uh, she got a viral fight that happened in the locker room. Her name was Jade. Was that the first viral? That interview? was the first one. Okay. And rest in peace, Mo Three. That was his baby mom at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if you go back and look, her name is Jade. Um, she got in a viral fight in, on World Star in the locker room, and I interviewed her, and it did like two million views in a day wow. on World Star. And I wow. said, I said, I'm going to start mixing that with the freestyles. And then over time, the freestyles became irrelevant because right. niggas don't care about bars. They just want to hear something that sound good. Mm -hmm. They don't care if you can rap. If you can sing and harmonize, people will rock with that. So, I mean, do you, is it anybody else that you've seen come up quick? Because you love rap, too. You know how to deal with picking yeah. artists and stuff like that. Have anybody impressed you with the way they, they scaled after you had interviewed them? Um, Roddy Rich. I didn't know he was gonna blow. Roddy Rich. I did Roddy Rich in Compton. Really? Yep. And, and he uh, went. Um, and he went. Wow. That, um, like, I, I did Roddy Rich interview. Um, I did a lot of people's interview. I got Rod Wave his deal. Really? And then he went on the internet and said, uh, "Fuck me." <laughs> <laughs> Are you wow. serious? Yeah. <laughs> man, people, see the nerve of these people, man. He don't owe me nothing. Yeah, I get Because, it. I mean, now I have so many different, I open so many different doors for people. It's going to pay out later. And it ain't no beef with him. I, I wish him the most success. And hopefully we'll chop it up soon. A lot of links with a lot of the big labels. How did you yeah. create that? Because just like Spot him, Got him. I don't know if y'all know the yeah, B-Box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's my mm -hmm. artist too. Um, I signed him when he had 3,000 followers. So like that, just me keeping, building these artists and finding them from nothing. Um, and making them something like Darrow, the artist I got now, he's fresh out of jail. I want to change his Dude, life. I, I look up. How to many you. artists do you have? Um, like uh, 
18, but I don't own 100% of all of my partnership with some people. Let me say oh, something. Okay, Let me okay. say this. I, I look up to you not because because I'm scared of these rappers, nigga. <laughs> like, like far as I don't trust. Man, I got trust issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody be like, man, e, over the years. Yeah. And I just never, I thought the game wasn't, like, I, I guess because I already was flipping. I ain't need mm -hmm. it. It's like, this don't look, for me, it, it seems like it's a lot of disloyalty. It's a lot of disloyalty, um, but I don't get in, I don't get into it to I know they're gonna my bad I know they're gonna cross me uh, sooner or later that, that's the way you would have to look at it I know they're gonna cross me sooner or later but I know we're not friends this is business wow I'm we I know we're not gonna eat together when I'm cooking so you know there's gonna be a disconnect I know it's at like some that point because you don't really know nobody till they get money Bows. 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 yeah we 